Oh, wait for it. We are live. How's everybody doing today, man? Alan Dickey's up in the house, and I'm just going to get right into it. So if you're not jumping onto this thing live right away, you will get onto it uh, on the replay. Here's what we're talking about today. Check the title of the message. Be aware of your or of your customer's interpretation versus your interpretation, okay? So what do I mean by this? When I'm talking about being aware of your customer's interpretation versus yours, this comes down to communication. The reason I'm making this video right now is I literally just read a comment, and this happens all the time. I, I publish a lot of... Um, a lot of video content, obviously. That's what we're doing right now. And uh, I love the feedback that comes through it. A lot of great information, great comments, great feedback. But there's always, you know, the odd comment where somebody makes a comment speaking to the video and what they're speaking to has absolutely nothing to do with anything that was inside the video I just made. Like literally it's so off of anything the video spoke to. I'm, I'm reading it and I'm starting to scratch my head. And so... I want to take this moment to remind all of you, listen, the elite, the most successful people in sales, right, are very aware, they're cognizant of the difference between the customer's interpretation of their interaction versus their own. Um, you know, this example I use based on the comments that were thrown on uh, one of my videos, what was written was it, was, it was crazy to read this, and I'm thinking to myself, does this individual listen to that video or digest the content in the video or, and this is what the majority of people do, did they listen to like one piece of it, get married to what they believed it was, what they interpreted the meaning of the video, the piece of content to be, and then boom, right away got into writing their two cents that had nothing to do with the video I just made. How many salespeople, how many of you out there right now are so busy and preoccupied with spewing out your next line, literally puking it onto a customer uh, to the point that you're not listening to what's coming out of their mouth. Or when they make certain comments, you know, you're not digging deeper to validate your interpretation of them. You know, how many times does a customer say, well, I don't like the color of the car? And right away, well, this color is really amazing, sir, you know, da da da. And you get in fighting and puking, not even really listening to what's coming out of their mouth. The key is, is start to ask more questions when you're dealing with people. Again, back to this video, if you're going to come and write a comment like that, do yourself a favor so you don't look stupid, watch the video, take in the entire piece of content, then make an educated comment. You know, we might be able to have a discussion. It could actually go back and forth. But far too many salespeople, okay, interpret things one way that are completely inaccurate or different from the interpretation that a customer has. You could deliver a, a wonderful presentation, you know, outlining the features and benefits uh, of your product to an individual, but if it's not being understood the way you're conveying it, what's, what, what's happening? Nothing. It, it's just a bunch of noise, and nothing will ever become, or, or no fruit will be, uh, you will bear no fruit from it. So, the next time you're sitting in a, a, a selling situation and you're going back and forth with your customer and you're figuring things out, it's not quite coming together. You're in the clothes, man, right? 